for any child. So much to learn and remember and a whole new environment to settle into. A big challenge for teachers is often just getting youngsters to sit still and concentrate. So some schools are now using the ancient art of yoga to teach children how to be calm. Staff say it's the first building block to learning. James Ingham has been to Leon the Solent Infant School in Hampshire to find out more. Sun salutation. Sun salutation stands for the sun. Sun salutation stands for the sun. A break from morning lessons, a chance for the six and seven year olds to stretch, wriggle and relax. This is part physical, part mental education. It helps with their clarity of thought, their concentration, their focus. It helps um, give them calming techniques. Um, and this can be applied in the classroom as well with other subjects. So if they start feeling anxious, they can apply some of the breathing techniques taught within yoga to help them calm and then focus on what they need to do in the class. I like yoga because it just makes you block out all the distractions and focus on one thing. When I get stressed out, I don't have to be stressed because it calms me and I'm not angry anymore. When I go off to do my work, I'm really calm and if something goes wrong, I, I just breathe in and out from yoga. The school says many pupils have benefited in that way. Concentration has improved noticeably and yoga's having a positive outcome on pupils' mental well-being. The physical side of it actually has helped to develop fine and gross motor skills with the children, which are essential skills they need to be able to move around. It helps with their balance, but it's also had a huge impact on their emotional well-being, which is something that we're really concerned with, uh, you know, giving them positive emotional health. And his shoulders rolled back and down. The school has spent £3,000 on this year-long pilot. Money its leaders and governors think is very well spent. We felt after a trial that this proved some real good benefit for the children um, with relaxation and concentration. Yoga's over. I think as a parent as well, um, my children are going home and talking about it and want to show me what they're doing at school and I think that, that shows a great deal. They're really sort of involved in it and it's um, paying dividends. They certainly seem calm, don't they? That was uh, Simon Tripp, a governor and parent of the school, finishing that report. Well, Charlotta Martinez is a yoga practitioner and she's lobbying Parliament to get yoga included in the national curriculum. I spoke to her a little earlier and asked her if this, this was just the latest fad. I suppose you could say it's been a fad over the last 3,000 years. <laughs> so where's the evidence, the scientific evidence, that this actually works? Yoga gives them an opportunity to be still with themselves and find that stillness within themselves and feel safe in that and some psychologists call that a secure attachment but within themselves um, and that gives rise to a fantastic amount of uh, confidence and cognitive ability. I mean reading, writing and arithmetic you know on the curriculum have got to be for many people the most important thing. Yoga really, I mean does it need to be there? <laughs> Absolutely, they are the most important thing, of course. But isn't also an ability to be well, a preventative wellness technology that allows us to know how to manage our pain, um, to manage our moods and to self-regulate and to perform the best we can. I've had many anecdotal stories from teachers saying that when they do five minutes of yoga at the beginning of the class, their class goes much, much better and they get better results. The, the, the students are listening more, they're absorbing more and they, there's also research uh, suggesting that the learning is much more lifelong as opposed to short term. Charlotte Martinez, thank you very much. Thank you. I think it's really interesting. It's an interesting talking point as well. And how's your uh, reclining pigeon and half Lord of the Flies?